In this video, we are going to be revising column method for subtraction for up to three digit numbers. I've got my first subtraction question here. As you can see, both numbers have three digits. So we have to use our place value knowledge of the hundreds, the tens and the ones. Now remember for subtraction, the biggest number always comes first. So the biggest number will go at the top of the column. So our biggest number is 253. Then take away 121. Now for column subtraction, we must always start at the ones. So we have three, take away one, which is two. Then we move into the tens. We have five, take away two, which is three. And then finally, we move into the hundreds and we have two, take away one, which is one. So I've got another question here. So we've got 276, take away 144. Pause the video if you would like to have a go yourself and then we can go through the answer together in a moment. Okay, so let's see how you got on with that question. So I can see here that both numbers again have three digits. So we know that we're working with the hundreds, tens and the ones. The biggest number always comes first. So I'm going to put 276 at the top of our column and then take away 144. So because it's column method, we always start at the ones. So we have six take away four, which equals two. We then move over to the tens where we have seven take away four, which is three. And then finally in the hundreds, we have two take away one, which equals one. So 276 take away 144 equals 132. So now we are going to be revising column method for subtraction with regrouping for up to three digit numbers. You might also know it as borrowing, carrying or stealing. So I've got my subtraction question here. So 372 take away 154. Again, both of these numbers are three digits. So I know I'm working with the hundreds, the tens and the ones. So just like before, the biggest number comes first. So we put 372, take away 154. So let's get started. Again, we start at the one, so we have two take away four. Now this time, this question is slightly different because the four is actually bigger than two. So what we need to do now is steal from the tens or borrow from the tens. So. I need to cross out the seven. That then becomes six. And the 10 that I've borrowed goes in front of the two in the ones column. So that two now becomes 12. And I can do 12 take away four now, which is eight. So now I've done that, I can move into the 10. So we've got six take away five. Now I can do six take away five because five is smaller than six. So six take away five is one. Then finally, we have the hundreds left. So we've got three take away one. Again, we can do this because one is smaller than three. So three take away one is two. So we have 372 take away 154 equals 218. Right, we've got one last question, 281 take away 153. Have a go, so pause the video and have a go at this question yourself and then we can look through it together in a moment. Okay, so let's see how you got on with that question. So again, we can see we've got two three digit numbers. So our hundreds, tens and ones, we can get ready. Starting with the biggest number, which is 281, take away 153. Or we start at the ones. So we have one, take away three. 
Now three is bigger than one, so that means we need to borrow from the tens. So we go to the tens where we have eight, that needs to be crossed out and changed to a seven. And the tens that we've borrowed goes into the ones column. So now this one becomes 11. So 11 take away three, we can do, and that equals eight. So now we can move over to the tens. So we have seven take away five. We can do that because five is smaller than seven and that equals two. And then finally, the hundreds, we've got two take away one, which is one. So we have 281 take away 153 equals 128. So hopefully you got on well with those examples. Make sure you have another look through the video if you need to.